Welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to this week's energy forecast. I'm Sarah Louise. I'm an intuitive, a reader of the cosmic weather. So I'm here tuning in and seeing how it feels, what energy is going to be around and how that could possibly affect you, what you need to be aware of and how you can best navigate yourselves through the current cosmic climate. So, my beautiful people, it's um, it's a little bit weird, the energy this week, I must say, when I tune in. Um, I've been talking a lot over the last few weeks around, you know, July is very much about the heart, kind of heart opening, um, heart centered, um, love, like redefining what love is and, you know, how conditional we are and looking at our conditions and, you know, trying to release some of those old conditions that aren't serving us. And so, you know, it's been quite, you know, a focused time of like, you know, doing that inner work. And, and I know that the current climate, cosmic climate is a little bit kind of, it's been up and down. And we're in cancer water, so it's been quite emotional for a lot of people, you know. On when we're working with the heart and the energy, I know that, you know, when we're in cancer season, like the emotions can really super flow. They can also be quite kind of turbulent, right? Really quite up and down. So this week, it's like I feel like we go into another level, yeah. And there's so much kind of messaging coming through to me around this week when I've been sitting doing my channel in and it's um, like the words that I kind of get, it's like, oh, like enough is enough. Like um, people, you know, there's this kind of challenging energy and I'm like, oh, you know, I know a lot of people are really struggling right now and we don't need like another layer on top of cancer season, on top of the fact we're walking towards that second full moon in Capricorn and, you know, more of this kind of unraveling and um, kind of unpredictable, unstable energy, but it's coming. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, I feel like it's, um, it's quite edgy. But I feel like we have a um, we have a choice right now, yeah. And maybe we're being a little bit tested in our growth. How are you going to speak up? Because it's really important that we do speak up and we do share and we do. But it's like, how does it happen? Like, is it reactive or is it responsive? Yeah, because if it's reactive, we don't really get anywhere and nothing really heals and nothing really changes. Whereas if it's responsive we can kind of make headway and we can make changes. Because I feel like there could be some kind of provoking energy around, um, especially Monday because of some alignments that are coming in. Sunday, Monday, it's kind of building up, you know? And it might even, it might even affect even the quiet, you know, subdued ones that normally don't say anything. You might notice people wanting to step up and share and you know put their point across and and that's cool and that's great and we need to speak up and we need to share and we need to release we need to let go and you know we need to you know but it's how we do it so important right now yeah this week with all of this you know cosmic like edgy energy like your homework's going to be stay grounded, stay calm, stay clear, you know, stay in your center, stay in your heart. If you find you becoming too heady, drop back into that heart. Yes, speak up, but watch how you're speaking. Don't get into power struggles with people. Yes, hold your power, but don't get into that struggle. Like choose kindness over being right all the time. Remember, it's the ego that wants to be right and this and that. We don't need to live in that space. We can be really super open-hearted and kind and clear and voice where we are, be super centered and super grounded and get exactly where we wanna go. A lot easier that if we're in head and ego and pushing and reactive and like that just causes more chaos than we need. 
So I feel like it's a big week and it's a big week building up to that full moon and that full moon is going to hit either Sunday or Monday, depending on where you are in the world. In Australia, where I am, it's Monday and I will do a live session with that. And that remember, that's like it's the second full moon consecutive in Capricorn and it's the ending of a cycle. It's the ending of a story. So you might find that this week things are coming up that have got to end, like a pattern's got to finish. And, you know, it'll be really tied into this moon cycle and this kind of double full moon. And, you know, so be really aware, be super conscious. Yeah, do your journaling. What is coming up for me? What is this about? You know, if there's things that need to come to a close, fantastic. Be in your power as you do that. Um, you know, if there's a pattern, if there's a story, if there's an energy, if there's a clearing that needs to happen, you know, if it's highlighted and it's becoming up in you, it's ready. We've got to stay right out of fear and stay really kind of in our faith and um, really trusting the path. Even when we, we can't see it or it feels a little bit wobbly, like trusting in the path, knowing that, you know, everything happens for a reason, for every cause there is an effect, you know, all those things, all those sayings. When you need to, not my circus, not my monkeys, step out of others' dramas, stay in your own center. I do feel like there's a lot of clearing and there's a lot of cleansing coming in. And remember that always has to happen before we have a healing. So if things are coming up to the surface, we're not in a rush these days. I just want to kind of recap a little bit as well around what I said, you know, a few weeks ago around July. July is very much around our heart staying centered. And it's also... Um, I feel like there's this um, people are kind of really conditioned by time at the moment and it's like a lot of people have kind of been stuck in a really old cycle like an old timeline of clearing and cleansing and healing and reshifting and resetting and it's felt really like can't move forward can't get there and for a lot of people July this is the turning point this is the shift of like ah I'm ready to go, like the reset has happened, yeah? For some, you might not quite still be there and you'll know if which bit of the path you're on because of how you're feeling, whether you're like, yeah, I'm ready to go or like, it's just not quite aligning yet. Things, dreams, goals, you know, it's just not quite there. So really trusting in the timing of your path, really trusting in your heart, it's really trusting in the bigger picture. It's really important if you want to stay centered and grounded and calm, you know, and really tuning into that love that what I talked about last week, the unconditional love. It's a good week. It's definitely a, a good week, but it could feel a little bit unsettling. So do whatever you need to do to stay grounded through that. If I'm telling you, you know, it's going to be a bit rainy out there this week, have your umbrella ready. Yeah. Yeah. You got this. Yeah. Do your journaling, read your book, listen to your podcasts, have your beautiful baths, drink lots of water, look after self, and I will see you on Monday, Monday week. So I think it's the, have a look, Monday the 22nd, 7 p.m. Brisbane time for our live online session under that full moon in Capricorn. And let's kind of wrap up the story with a big bow. And let's just, you know, let's really go forward, you know, with clarity, you know, having healed something that is ready to be healed. It's a big one, this one. I'm excited for it. I feel like we're kind of ready. It's like the chains will, you know, in some way will be freed. I was going to say loosened, but it's not. They're going to be freed. And we'll be able to make some new steps forward after this Monday. So amazing. Have an incredible week. You've got this. Yeah. You know what it's going to be like. So whatever. I'm cool. Yeah. Knowledge is power. Yeah. Have a great week. Lots of love.